Hey everyone, the professor here and welcome to this crude oil analysis video to get you ready for London session trading. First of all, congratulations to our members who grabbed this trade alert uh, that was posted in our app a little bit over an hour ago. As you can see here, uh, we completely crushed uh, this trade from this level right in here. Congrats to many of our members who netted 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, up to 100 pips before we began to see this reversal here. So again, congratulations to our members and myself as well because I grabbed my pips as well for my fourth positive trade of the day. But guess what? Today is over. We are going to be breaking down crude oil now from every level. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and delete this right in here. And we want to go ahead and start with this daily chart. And I'm going to go ahead and close uh, these SARs. We just did a full training in the app on how to use the SAR. So if you want to get some value, come and join us uh, in our community as well. So we're going to kind of start with the weekly look at crude oil. Crude oil has been very, very choppy this week. Okay, very, very choppy this week. So what we've been noticing is that crude oil will tend to drop during the first two sessions, meaning right when market opens, again at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard, into Tokyo, into London for the most part, even though yesterday it rose. And then we're seeing almost 15 straight days. Okay, If you go back and you backtest it, where during the U.S. session, it'll have a huge spike in the opposite direction. How long they keep doing that, we don't know, but we will keep preparing for that as long as it keeps going. So it's been very, very choppy on the weekly. But what you can tell here is that this has been, and I'm going to move this to white, right? We have not been able to close above that level of 80.79, and we have not been able to close below this level of 75.60. Let's just call it 75.50, okay, over the past month. So we're going to start with those levels, okay? And we're going to see what price has been doing here on a daily time frame. Okay? Again, we are sitting on a daily time frame. Now, we've been talking about this 7564 for a couple of weeks. They came pretty close to taking out, okay, these equal lows sitting right here and then price reverse back up to what has been our high there at about 80 0.79 over the past month. Okay. So now what we're going to start to do is we are going to start to break down this chart. Okay. On a daily level. So that way you can begin to look for, are you a buyer or are you a seller? Because price is very inconclusive right now with regards to where price wants to go. Okay. So because we don't know that we need to really break it down on the smaller Time frames. So let's now drop into the eight hour, and you're going to see here again uh, the price action that has been happening. Okay. Now, when we look at price action, uh, we did not make a higher high off of this level right here. So we came down, right? A lower high. Okay. A really not a real lower low per se. So we'll just call this as the swing up swing down and here is our next swing up so really you know the question is going to be are we going to go back up and retest this area or are we going to create a new lower um low in this area possibly to take out this bottom 75 64 uh, equal lows so once again we can see here on a daily time frame when i make this i'm sorry the eight hour time frame that we are very indecisive right oil has been very indecisive in what it wants to do. So when that happens, we begin to walk this down and then we just set up some very simple as we did with gold today. We just set up some stops orders so we can catch any breakout in either direction. So now in the four hour, let's bring back this circle again so we can kind of get a perspective, right? We had a low, we had a not a higher high, we had a low, we had not a higher high. We had a low. We had not a higher high. So if we're going to kind of continue this trend, the question is going to be, okay, are we now going to take a look at this trend line here? We're just going to kind of put that here, 
to kind of see what price does on a visual side. Okay, many of us are visual uh, learners, so we're going to kind of see. What we do know is this: is that we have for now, we have price trapped between this area and between this area. Okay, so now we begin to kind of formulate uh, our game plan. Okay, with regards to whether you're a swing trader, you're a scalper. Most of us in our group are just scalpers. Uh, we do have some swing traders in there, but very hard to uh, swing trade this when it's been very, very choppy. Okay, so what I recommend that we do now is that we drop to the one hour. Okay, and so we begin to see this pattern emerging here on the one hour. But what we want to make sure is that we identify these areas where we see definite bounces on a smaller time frame. So this one hour clearly has been uh, support. Okay, at this level, at this level, at this level, all the way across the board has been pretty much strong support. A couple of times it's broken down. And so we are kind of at this level right about here again. So you can see it right in here. Okay. So now that we are at that level, we've got to decide, okay, I'm going to move price to where we are currently with regards to time frame. So you can see it. Okay. Now we begin to kind of develop this game plan. And again, you know, barring any major news that may come out at any given point, right? We're going to trade the analysis as we always do with structure in mind. So as we look at the analysis, right, we want to begin to look at a couple of things, right? Because it's been so choppy, uh, the FIB levels have not been holding up as well than the zones have. So now what we want to do is we want to begin to find some smaller areas for zones. And again, we can see here that on a smaller time frame, okay, we have not been able to close above this 7867 area. Okay. That would also bring us pretty close back to the trend line. Okay. Now, if we look down here, right, these are the some equal lows sitting here at 7677. Okay. So now what we've done is we begin to trap price. And so we have to have a breakout in one direction or another. If we add a FIB level from this high to this current low, then you can see that the next best sell opportunity is going to be if price reaches up in this area, right? Above the 61 into the 70 percentile and just before the trend line would give us our next possible rejection down, right? If we have a one hour candle close above this area, then we should be trading this to the upside after hopefully a retest of the trend line and then moving back up. Okay. So we are going to look for this on the one hour. So again, markets are now closed. Markets will open up at 6 p.m. Eastern. You probably won't see too much movement, not expecting any type of, of major, major gap. To the downside. Okay. If price either comes up or price begins to walk down, we should expect this level uh, to be entertained again, which is 76.75, okay? We should entertain this level at the bottom, okay, at the bottom. And then we'll talk inside of our community wh what happens if we break this level, then we should be going further down to where those equal lows are. But for now, this has been kind of been uh, the trading area. If we kind of look back here and we extend this, right, we have been kind of in this pattern uh, since last Friday, okay? We have just been in this pattern since last Friday. So consolidation, nothing wrong with consolidation. It's actually great for us scalpers because it, it reduces our risk of knowing if we come back down in here, then we begin to look for, you know, simple long positions back up, right, with tight stops below the zone. And so that's the risk to reward, right? Vice versa, if we come back up again, right? Then we look for this type of area until proven wrong, a very tight stop right above this wick, hopefully to take it back down. So you give yourself a seven to one risk to reward type of deal. Of course, trailing your trades, don't let winners turn into losers. And of course, if you're doing our 20 pip challenge, secure 20, uh, go in multiple entries, secure 20, and then trail the other one for possibly a runner if it happens. So we are going to stay in this area for now. And those would be the two setups. Trading anything in this 
middle area becomes very, very tricky because price can turn at, at any given moment. So I would use caution. I would just be patient. And if you're more of a seller, then you wait for price to come up to these higher areas. If you are a buyer, you wait for price to come down to these lower areas in here. Okay, so let's kind of see what happens. Again, this is an intermediate uh, level right here. So if this shows early rejection going into London session, then we should see price come back down at least to this level, which would be our last most recent wick. Never ignore the wicks because price now has come to this level twice and has reacted. Okay, and if we look over here, tends to have reacted here as well. So what I'm going to do to protect you is to put an actual, an actual level right here. Okay, so if price comes down to this level and you're in profit on a sell, you might be looking to either trail it or close it because we've been bouncing in this area before and that's just kind of to protect you. So multiple scenarios, uh, candle closes above on the one hour. Hopefully you'll get an opportunity to retest and then come back up. And I would definitely think about closing at this level, unless you're trailing, okay? And vice versa, if price gives us a one hour close to the bottom, or you see that bearish engulfing candle, or you drop down to a 15 minute chart, and you see that, um, then what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and take this down to this level and think about closing there because of previous wicks and rejection at that level right in there. So that should kind of prep you uh, going into uh, London session. So I hope you got some value. The markets are closed, uh, even though it was a kind of a free hour. I wanted to give my members value. And if you're watching this on YouTube, hit that thumbs up button, hit the like button, and definitely subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can be alerted on all these videos to give you value. And again, consider uh, joining our trading club. You can see the website down below, theprofessortrades.com. Come in for less than a buck a day. I can guarantee you the value that you are going to receive is going to be amazing, not just for crude oil, and whether you trade it on Forex or futures, but we're doing indices. We're actually doing Forex pairs as well. Not as much because the heavy of our traders are mostly uh, trading futures, CL in futures as well, and also on the Forex side, but we've got natural gas traders and we've got some great people who are chatting, sharing charts. We have an amazing community. It's a no nonsense community. We're not here to play games. That's why you don't see flashy editing. I'm here to be able to help you, right? To add extra income. That's all I care about right? I don't need flashy editing jobs. This is real in the market with real people. So I invite you to join us. And if you don't like it, just cancel. That's it. No, no contracts, just, just cancel. For less than a buck a day, you're going to waste that on poor coffee when you can come in. And if you're brand new, come in and learn from scratch. We've got people learning from scratch. I've got course videos in there. I've got starter videos in there. So you don't pay for anything else. There's no upsells. There's none of that course, but everything that I do, all my members get absolutely for the same price that they pay inside of the monthly or the annual, whichever plan you decide is best for you. Dirt cheap on the annual plan, super cheap on the monthly plan. Okay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Happy trading.